Yo, 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 what is up, Finesse Squad? It's your main man, Kid Stan, and today we're back with another Finesse Kid video. Yes, sir! So, as you guys can tell by the title, today we're gonna be talking about some more Grand Peace Online. Bro, it's gonna be another one of those discussion videos. We're gonna be going over some gameplay. We will be going over some gameplay. Trust me on that. But we will not be showcasing anything, so in case you're just. Hey, I'm letting you guys know this right now, man. All right, before you guys <laughs> start blowing up my comments on some, like, I don't even, bro. I can't even mock some of the things some of y'all be saying, bro. It's just, anywho. But uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be talking about some Grand Piece Online and uh, update. What is it? Update three? Yeah, update three. I uh, was gonna be having a lot of really interesting stuff. We've seen uh, so far. We've uh, kind of put together. We're gonna probably end up getting a new white beard boss. By Centos probably gonna end up coming to the game. Uh, we know that we're getting the Tremor Tremor Fruit, aka Quake Quake, aka Gura Gura. We already uh, confirmed that. Um, we already confirmed that we're getting Diable Jambe uh, in the game. And uh, something that was also recently uh, announced was that we are getting um, a new, a new, another new boss. I I guess new bosses, new new bosses <laughs> um boss raid i don't know what to really refer to it as but we are uh it's been confirmed that we're getting sea kings and uh grand peace online so we're gonna be talking about that for a little bit and going over a couple of stuff but before we do that if y'all could do me a huge favor bro you guys are new to the channel and you guys are uh well uh aren't subscribed <laughs> You need to do me a favor and fix that, please. Now nah, I'm playing. Uh, if you guys want to hit that subscribe button, it'd be really appreciated. Your boy's trying to hit 50,000 subs, so I'd really appreciate if you did hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, haven't done so, please turn the notification bell, bro. I'm trying to get my notification bell uh, popping, bro. So I'm trying to get my notification squad popping. So please, uh, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get so that YouTube pushes out my notifications more. Uh, but last but not least, make sure to hit this video with that like, like, no juicy, bro. You guys cannot become Hokage if you guys don't master that juicy, bro. It's like one of the most guaranteed, it was the most needed and required juices to know to be able to become Hokage. So practice that like, like, no juice on this video. All right. <laughs> All right, but with that being said, let's get right into the video. So yes, it's been confirmed that Sea Kings are going uh, to be coming to Grand Peace Online. So we're gonna be looking at different things on Twitter. Uh, with that being said, also make sure to follow me on Twitter at KidStand underscore. I'm so close to a thousand followers, but I wanna hit that soon. So hey, give me that thousand followers on Twitter, man. Um, but yeah, it's been confirmed that Sea Kings are coming to Grand Peace Online. We're gonna be looking at some footage of what it looks like so far. Um, and they actually been looking pretty interesting. So, um, if you look here, right? We look here, we can kind of see some footage. We got a uh, Gyazo of actually one of the Sea Kings or footage of one of the Sea Kings um, and how they work. So one of the attacks it has is like this roar basically like an AOE apparently. Oh golly. So it has like that roar as you can see there. See, use it again. Has like the Sea King roar, and then it shoots out this beam. So it has like a beam attack, and it has like the Sea King roar. Kind of similar to, uh, I would say pretty similar to Blox Fruits. I don't think Blox Fruits is like a beam. It probably, I think it Blox Fruit Sea Kings or Sea Bees, they send out like pellets or whatever, like multiple like water pellets. This one shoots out like a full on Kamea wave or yeah <laughs> so uh, that's pretty cool but you can see i think i heard someone say that the the roar it's that the moves actually block break which i was talking i don't know if the roar block breaks but i i heard that the the beam blo uh block breaks now that thing looks pretty deadly pretty serious so um you can see how big that thing is there and then you can kind of see right here randomly as this person was like uh on their boat you can see that this <laughs> the sea beast literally falls from the sky bro i don't know why or how that happened but it fell from the sky twice and it's going at like dude what the heck is going on bro i don't know if that was like a glitch or something i think for you might have scripted it wrong so that it goes from like the top you might need to change the 
like a some type of negative to a positive or something like that i don't know a positive to a negative some type of variable needs to be changed there this looks like it's falling from the sky instead of from instead of coming out of the water which is pretty funny but um yeah so we know that uh they will be able to spawn in the water uh i believe it's gonna kind of work similar to uh blocks fruits where basically or, or actually just similar to like how the marine boats marine ships work where uh if you're just kind of sailing around there's a chance that a, a sea king will spawn on top of you or whatever the sea king will pop up out of nowhere which is pretty interesting now as you guys can see that these uh cbs do have a like certain hp bars so you guys can actually like you can you can actually kill it you can defeat it um, it would be pretty toxic if not so it is something that you can defeat and uh what's actually been confirmed is that these sea kings will actually have these uh legendary drops now this is actually really cool because the legendary drops uh are, are actually pretty interesting so uh first things first uh we're gonna look at uh, a good friend of mine baneer we'll look at his uh uh you know his um <clears throat> twitter so if we look at Baneer, he's one of the, he's a, I believe the main modeler for uh, Grand Peace Online. One of the main devs, but he has a nice Twitter. He posts cool stuff, so make sure to go follow him on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, if you look here, we can see that these guys, boy, this dude is ugly, uh, that these guys have on these like different, like their eyes are glowing. It looks like they're kind of grinning um, a little bit. But what that actually is, if you get a closer look, uh, this is, what this is right here it's a sea beast mask um literally a mask that's pretty insane to think about so uh, you can see how it has a glow the eyes right there it has like this little teeth looking thingy you could get another close look right here um eyes the mouth the little jewels hanging or whatever it looks pretty sick uh you see that you can have a blue there's a blue one right here and then there's a red one right here um so we know that we'll be getting different color masks, right? Uh, which is uh, pretty solid. Um, I actually, I believe that they're actually legendary drops from what I've been told. Um, I don't know if this is something that you said or whatever, or has confirmed or not, but I believe that there is gonna be a legendary drop. So this is actually a, bot, uh, a drop that you can get from the boss itself. Now, um, I'm assuming that because they're different color masks, that, you would get them from different sea kings or sea beasts um just because it's different colors i'm assuming that one color will kind of correlate to one and the other will correlate to another maybe like their blue mask like you can only get from like a blue sea king because I, I believe there are two different colors sea kings. so this one was red and this one was this one was like what what is this i can't tell i can't tell what color this is i don't know if this is like a gray a black I didn't see a black one though. I didn't see a black mask. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, you can see that there's different color sea kings, so that might have something to do with that. Um, but you know that you're gonna get this like uh drop that's it's gonna be some type of accessory, some type of armor, or whatever. I don't know if it did anything to his HP. I can't tell by his stats because he's level 500, so I can't really tell what he did there. But something else that's really cool. Um is a uh, a weapon drop that you can actually get from this boss and this is a sea king katana so this was kind of revealed about i mean be, i believe like two days ago um it's a pretty sick katana that you can get from the sea king like this thing is insane bro like look at that look at that dragon head bro look at the detail in this katana now i don't know if this is going to be like the uh, like the basic katana then the freaking skypean katana drop and it's gonna be like one of those things where oh you just kind of equip it and then like you just use one sort of style with it and then you like you just have like boosted damage i really hope that this is just not another katana that will be used for one style or one sword style what did i say one style <laughs> i hope this is not another katana that just will be used for one sword style like the skypean one um because i feel like that would be a huge waste i hope that this katana has exclusive moves to it itself to itself um just because of how dope it looks and just because of the fact you have to go fight a sea king for it i feel like there should be some pretty rewarding skills for that especially looking at how much it looked like that sea king had it looks like they have a decent amount of hp bro like, i can't tell this is exactly but it looks like it's at least in the triple digits i can't tell not gonna lie 
All right, never mind. Uh, oh no, that's definitely four digits right there. That's not three digits. <laughs> that is definitely four numbers right there. What the frick? Cause you can kind of see like the slash in the middle, like right around there. That's usually about where it is. That's definitely not three numbers. If you look, if you look up compare that to like uh the boat, the way the boat looks, like even though you can't really clearly see how much HP the boat has, you can tell the difference that this is definitely a smaller number than whatever the frick this is. That is insane. All right, so I'm assuming that it's gonna have a lot of HP. So I, I would want it to be very rewarding. I don't know what type of skills you could give it. Maybe like a some type of I don't know maybe maybe this skill like this sword will have a beam maybe like you point the sword and they'll shoot out like one of the beams that the sea king uses <laughs> or maybe like use like stab the ground and like maybe like an aoe like the roar tapage or some crap like that I don't, honestly don't know what would happen um might end up it's probably gonna end up getting just another frenzy attack just because I don't know every weapon seems to have some type of frenzy move in this game bro I don't know what's up with that. I think another thing that would be pretty cool is if it gets like a Shisi Son Son. Um, but it's like it's like a water type of Shishi Son Son, so it's like a turret. I don't know. Like you freaking dash forward and you like leave a wave of water behind you and stuff like that, and you just like go crazy. I don't know, bro. They better make this into some type of Tanjiro like water breathing style technique uh sword type based i don't know what they all i know is it better be something crazy and it better have something to do with water or some type of sea king moves um something correlating to that bro but i better not see another freaking frenzy i know that one for sure bro i'm tired of these freaking frenzy what has a frenzy freaking kiribachi technically the pole has a frenzy instead of slashing you're just stabbed you're like beat like poking them with it um what else bro freaking uh gravity blade has a frenzy um i'm pretty sure the regular once style has a frenzy which means that the sky the sky peeing katana has a frenzy too uh because they both go off one sort style what else um yeah i would say that's that's it but still that's a lot of things to have a freaking frenzy over like what the heck like why do all these things <laughs> why do all these different things have freaking frenzies man anyways i, I just don't want to see any more frenzies bro we've seen enough of those bro we've seen enough all right but anywho um so yeah those are basically the boss drops that we can uh we are for sure getting from uh the sea king bosses the bosses i don't know how they might work it'd be cool if they made it so that when a sea king spawns like the whole entire server gets alerted and you guys can like go towards wherever the location is you guys can like team up against it and just go like i don't know kill it together as like a server or whatever that'd be pretty dope but i guess we'll see when it comes out but uh yeah that's gonna be all for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy it guys once again if you guys are new if you guys did find this video informative please hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed um also turn on the notification bell and don't forget to hit this video to like like no jutsu all right now with that being said, until next time guys, we are out.